A cathode ray oscilloscope makes use of the process known as thermionic emission. Describe what happens during this process. Let's go quickly through the cathode ray tube and remember what is the thermionic emission. You can see now the components of the cathode ray tube that we have studied before. Three things must be provided to make the cathode ray tube work to release electrons from the cathode and directing them towards the anode. The first thing is high DC voltage, about 600 volts between the cathode and the anode. Number two, vacuum. This is to avoid electrons from hitting anything in their way between the cathode and the anode. The third thing is heating the cathode, and this is what's known as thermionic emission. When the cathode is heated, in the presence of vacuum and high DC voltage, now electrons are able to leave the cathode and go towards the anode. Electrons are negative, repel from the negative cathode, and attract it towards the highly positive anode. This is the idea of thermionic emission. So it's clear that to describe what happens during the process of thermionic emission, the answer will be the cathode is heated. Electrons are released from the surface of the cathode. These electrons are attracted and accelerated towards a highly positive anode. A long detailed answer that nearly includes everything and even more than what he needs. The mark scheme awards one mark for this question. The one mark is for the release of electron due to heating or high temperature or any mention about heater. This is what we said here. The cathode is heated. Electrons are released.